Okay, here we go. Retail detail. Cleaning leather with retail products. Retail only. Experimenting with some towels I've never used. I thought, what the heck? I prefer auto fiber, but if I can buy some cheaper towels that are effective, why not? That 30 pack is from Walmart. They're 14 by 16. Doesn't give a GSM, but based on the looks of them, I'm gonna say a 300, if they're lucky. Um, are they quite the quality of Costco? I'm gonna say they're pretty close to equivalent. Let's take a look at one of them here. See what we see. So inside the shade, we've got a more plush side in the low pile. These feel very cheap. They even look very cheap. But I'm gonna tell you this, $12.95 Walmart, 30 pack. And I don't have a Costco membership. We don't do Costco because we don't uh, have very many mouths to feed here. We don't have to buy anything in bulk. Why pay a membership when you can go to Walmart? One of my favorite stores to get budget stuff. So hopefully Walmart is trying to compete with Kirkland with these microfiber cloths. So retail detail, guys. We're going to do some leather on this Lincoln. It's kind of dirty. There's my bottle of Simple Green. That's 10 to 1. That is super clean in the HDX bottle, which I love. It's an upside down trigger. All this stuff is retail. I think they were both bought at Home Depot. So you buy a gallon, you can get, oh, nope, that was bought at Lowe's. You can get a gallon, you get a 32 ounce already pre-mixed. You can buy that uh, upside down wide mouth bottle, HDX bottle at Home Depot, relatively cheap. Probably my favorite retail bottle right there. I have other favorite bottles, but retail, it's that one. Wide mouth, upside down trigger. So you can turn it upside down and spray. Anyway, so let's get to it. This is more retail products. These are the uh, XL microfiber cleaning towels, platinum series at Walmart, and a magic eraser. And I buy the generic magic eraser. Sometimes I buy the actual magic eraser. Depends on which one's cheaper. Cellulose sponge or whatever they're called. Uh, just buy Magic Eraser if you don't know what you're looking for. This is a scotch Bright pad, non-scratch. It's all very key, doing leather. And what I do, personally, this, this detail right here is for anybody. It doesn't matter your experience level. Male, female, age, um, man, woman, child. Children can do this. So I hope you can pass this on and, and many people can benefit from this. Looks like my tripod can't handle that angle. I don't want to block you while I'm cleaning that leather, so unfortunately you might have to just look at my logo on the back of my shirt here and we'll prop up a local farmer. But anyway, I'm going to start with the least aggressive method. That's the simple green 10 to 1. Um, and if I were to guess, by the based on the looks of this trigger, yeah, I think you can foam it. You pull this out and it foams. That's pretty trick. Simple Green did a great thing by this. It's a cheaper bottle than last time. Last time I bought a twin pack, the bottle, I think these are Tolco, you can tell by the neck and the way they're measured out, was a thicker uh, plastic. These are really super cheap. But you get them with a gallon. It's 10 bucks. You get one pre-mixed with a trigger and a foam nozzle. I believe that's a foam nozzle. Has your dilution ratios on the side. Anyway, let's get to it. This is a lot of retail product today. So I'm going to just get the seat wet. Let it sit 10, 15, 20 seconds, kind of work. Uh, it's already probably about 85, 90 in California, so gotta move fast. I like to have dwell time, more dwell time than this, but in the heat, you can't. So I'm gonna start, actually, let's just start with a towel. Let's just scrub it with the, the low pile side first and see what we get. Actually, <laughs> See? I mean, dang. That was actually pretty easy. I don't know if you can see how dirty that towel is. Look at that. That's just simple green. No agitation. Simple green, 15, 20, 30 seconds of dwell time, mop up with the low pile. Low pile drug a little bit. I mean, um, stuck a little bit. It's hard to move. So I'm going to try it right here. And I'm going to try my scratch pad real quick because they seem to be the best on leather to me. You can use a brush. Um, but these are our money. I love these little pads. Will not harm the leather. Agitate. Mop up, dude. Dudes and dudesettes. Look at that. Bam. 
pretty nice. That was just one or two little passes right there. First pass was towel only, then scratch or a scotch bright pad, then mop it up. With simple green, folks. Look at that. Get you an angle there. Let's see if you can see it. There we go. This looks pretty good in here, doesn't it? So I'm gonna keep it short and simple like that, guys. The reason I'm gonna keep it that simple is why do I need to keep beating a dead dog to death? Plus, if I'm talking, I'm not gonna to get to work. So I need to do this whole interior and the carpet. So I'll maybe make a video on the carpet. So retail detail, simple green, 10 to one or four to one, depending on how bad your leather is. If that doesn't work, you saw that it had degreaser mixed. You can mix that. I'd probably start that 10 to one. I probably wouldn't go one to one. That's pretty heavy duty. You can try it with just a microfiber towel, mop it up. That will improve it. You can use the scotch Bright pad or the Magic Eraser. Multiple ways to do it. So right there, retail, simple green. Retail, super clean. Retail microfibers that are decent. Are they as good as Costco? I'm not sure. Do I like them? To be determined, huh? 2BD. scotch Bright pad, Magic Eraser. You got yourself some clean leather. And this is for anybody anybody that's able to pull the trigger on that spray bottle agitate a seat mop it up you can be five six seven years old and do this leather trick male or female it does not matter even democrats might be able to figure this one out hey thanks for tuning in stay tuned i'll do another retail detail one of these days oh for you guys that watched my slick and slide video i ordered adam's graphene coating spray coating so next weekend, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side with Turtle Wax and Adam's Graphene Spray Coating and see which one wins that kind of torture test, kind of like what Jimbo Balaam does. Kind of beat them up with uh, some degreasers, cleaners, paint prep, and see which one lasts longer. We'll find out. So Turtle Wax, that's next week, but I'm going to do a head-to-head -head with another Adam's product. Stay tuned, guys. Good luck with your leather. Oh, and you won't hurt your leather. It is coated and protected. Just clean it, mop it, be done. Thanks, guys.